Hotep, to all of you out there, this video is going to be a response to the Eddie Long sex scandal um, that Junebug Obama posted. Um, main thing that I select to say about this is the fact that I've been hearing a lot of radio interviews or radio responses. And there's a specific radio station here in Atlanta on AM that had a lot of people calling in basically saying that, well, he didn't do it and this and that. And then you had some other responses that were, that were um, basically referring to the fact that, you know, the individuals who are accusing him of the scandal, so to speak, are possibly lying, and then some are like, well, those they were kids, or those were kids or children. Well, based upon my knowledge, they're not exactly children now. And I have to agree with what Junebug said, that once she's 16, 17 years old, you may not necessarily be the smartest individual in the world. However, you know the difference between yes and no. And unless you are mentally challenged, retarded or whatever, no one can make you do something that you don't select to do. Period. So, as far as like being coerced, and especially dealing with these guys who are supposedly straight or what you would call same sex men, and the reason why I don't say heterosexual because you know, that's a funny term because heterosexual basically reference as having sex with individuals that are not like your own kind. And we're supposedly homo sapiens, so. But anyway, that, that's another video dealing with the words, as you know I do. Now, first off, I have to say, too, one thing I have learned and I've always known that people have a tendency especially people who are quote unquote what we call black African American or whatever we have the tendency to give somebody outside of us so much power to the point that when they commit or are accused of crimes or certain things or whatever that that's supposed to be against their character they can't accept it and the reason why that is is because of the fact we mentally and subconscious place these people on such a high level to the point that even when they even when they perform actions that are outside of the supposed character we won't accept it because we've given so much power to this individual, you know, for this individual to lead us to the light. Or this person is supposed to show us a way of living that is better for us. And the reason why that can be dangerous is because of the fact when you look at preachers or pastors or bishops, from the standpoint of just looking at them, or the media or whatever, we don't see what they do. I mean, come on, look at what happened. Look at, look at what happened to Kirk Franklin. He's widely known as being one of the probably one of the most popular gospel singers ever, especially in this time. And this cat was supposedly addicted to porn, being that his wife. I mean, in my opinion. It's a very attractive woman, okay? However, that didn't stop him from paying attention to porn. And his addiction may have, oh, oh well, his obsession with it may be because of the fact there's probably something that looking outside of him and porn that can give him that he doesn't have in his own relationship. And so it's the same thing with Eddie Long. So if Eddie Long did it, you know, there is something that they may not necessarily be receiving in their relationships, or it can be other things. However, meaning 
that when you do a lot of research on the church period, you will find that the church has some very, very, very dark origins, especially that of Christianity. Especially Christianity. When you reference, because, you know, I reference words and deal with the science and the word sound from there. When you research the word Christian, the origin or the etymology of that word is Cretan. Then when you look further into Cretan, you're dealing with some of the dirtiest people um, back in the so-called beginning ages or beginning stages of Christians. These were some dirty ass people. And, all right. And also, they used to do some of the nastiest things that you would probably kill a person for now. Like, say, for instance, like. In those days, to become a saint. You know, it it wasn't required that you be so spiritually in tune to the point that God is going to choose you to be a saint. It had nothing to do with that. It had something to do with the fact that, say for instance, you were a person that was which um, selected to become a saint. You had to find the most disease-ridden, dirtiest, dirtiest person in the community or whatever, especially if you have boils or scabs, and you had to put your mouth and lick over that person, and then and if you live, you were venerated as a saint. Now, if you want to check, check that, go ahead and do your research. Look up Christian and the etymology, meaning the origin of where that word comes from, it's going to lead you to the word Cretan. Okay? So, also along with that, Christians were very dirty people. Christians were very sexually obsessive and negative people. Okay. There were rules with the early Christian church that allowed them to have sex with young children as long as they weren't under four years old or something like that. So when you go back into the origins dealing with Christianity, especially the Catholic Church, sex with same sex or homosexual sex or sex with young individuals, this is nothing new. The only reason it seems like something new with the people who are really surprised and appalled of this case is because of the fact they've never done the research. In so many words, especially dealing with black people, we don't read, we don't research. So therefore, we're always caught with the damn draws down when something comes out, okay? We wish to believe that Christianity is the way to lead us out of this salvation, or, or, or lead us to salvation, when in actuality it was used to put us in captivity. Anyways, back to what I was talking with, talking about. The thing I have to wonder, too, about the case, not saying that it didn't happen, it's like, why did it take so long for you all to come out? Okay. Then, you know, otherwise that, just sit back and watch. And stop being so quick to venerate someone. Stop looking outside of yourselves for a savior, you the savior. The way... I read the Bible, Jesus or the Messiah is telling us that we have the powers that he have and we will be much greater once we embrace that. That was said in the book of Romans. However, we put all our power into these preachers and the book of Romans as well as the book of Revelations condemns that. Okay. So. It's no surprise to me of what has happened you would be surprised of all the different pastors just in Atlanta alone that have committed acts of this sort I mean come on at one point Mace former rapper of Bad Boy Records has been spotted and been caught having sex with transvestites or transgender individuals okay that was all in the news you know so 
we have to learn too that if we're going to be a person of spiritual faith or spiritual knowledge, we're going to take in this knowledge and we're going to say it. Don't say it unless you do it. That is one principle that I strongly live by. You should not tell another person, well, to do this for your for your life and your salvation, and this will be great, and you'll be one with God when they don't even do it, okay? Then, hmm, number two, or, or another thing to look at also is the fact we're going to have to start learning the truth and the origins of the things we participate in. If you're not in the knowledge of that, you can be taking on a group karma and you can have stuff affecting your life that you're not even aware of because you decided to join a certain group or a certain mosque or a certain temple or a certain church. Okay, we got to really be careful about that. And I feel one of the main reasons why people really don't like, you know, this thing, a lot of people are like, you're talking about my pastor. If you don't go to the church and if you ain't never been to the church, then you can't say nothing. The hell are you going to tell me what I can say or not? You mean, tell, oh, oh, so really the lawyer can't say nothing because they don't go to the church? Come on, Dad. When it comes down to it, we look at these preachers, especially the ones who are very high in the community or we make high in the community. We see, we don't, we, we say we see God in them, but what it is, the God, the God that we're seeing is the fact that they're rich. They got money. They don't have to worry about things and stuff like that. One of the reasons why they're rich is because you're giving them money, partly. Then number two, you should also understand, not only are you giving them the, your money, but churches are not under the same tax bracket as a regular business, okay? They're taken care of even before you give them money, okay? So we're looking at this guy or this preacher, and we're like, hey, if I follow this person, then one day I can have riches and trinkets and all this stuff like him. You're never going to have that. You, not not that way. So that's all I really selected to make a comment of. You know, um, stay tuned for my next post whenever that'll be, and um, I'll get back at you. And in universal greetings, I say shalom, salam, hey ye, ashe, peace, aman, and hotel.